Hi, it's Kuba again and in this video I will show you how to implement live chat on your website and how to set it up to look exactly the way you want it on the page. All you have to do to implement the chat on your website is simply adding our JavaScript code to your page. You can do it in a couple of ways. The first way is simply copying and pasting the code into the website, or you can use one of the provided plugins to implement the chat. You can decide on which pages the chat will be available on. We recommend to place it on all the pages of your website so all your visitors can access it at any time needed. And this is the one and only moment when you may need some help from someone from your tech team who is responsible for the website. Because from there on, you can do all the live chat customization by yourself in the settings section. The settings section is divided into different subsections, so you can easily navigate through it. The first one is a chat window. Here you can customize your chat window looks. We have two window types that you can choose from. It's up to you if it appears as a little bubble or a rectangular bar on your website. You can also modify the colors of the window, where it should be placed on the website, and some other tweaks like your own logo or agent picture. So just a few clicks and saving the changes will apply all the modifications to your live chat. That's not all of the possibilities. You can modify the language of your chat window and decide if the chat window should be available in English or one of the other languages available in our system. Currently, we have over 50 different languages ready to set. You can also set your own phrases right below the chat language section. The next subsection is the service section. There you can modify the questions that you will ask your visitors before the chat starts. Here we have a pre-chat survey. As you can see, you can easily edit the questions with a few clicks only. Let's say that you want to remove the question about your visitor's website. It takes only one click to delete the question. Remember to save your changes to apply them. You can also set up a post-chat survey, so you can use the survey to get some feedback from your customers after the chat is over. Here, you can ask some closed yes or no questions or the open questions for your visitors to elaborate and provide you with some detailed feedback. The next type of form is an offline form, also called the ticket form. As you may figure, this is the form that will appear when the chat is offline. As in the forms before, here you can easily modify the type of questions you want to ask with just a few clicks. Another section available here is the engagement section, which is quite an important one as it will help you engage visitors to talk to you. You can set up automated greetings that will trigger a chat based on specific actions your customer performed on your website. Here you can set conditions for the greetings. As you can see, there are multiple triggers that you can use. For example, you can trigger your greetings only on your pricing page, or only for the visitors that visit your website for the first time. You can use various greetings with multiple different triggers. For each greeting, you can also set up a custom message tailored to a specific situation. A pricing greeting can contain a discount information, while a support greeting can contain some questions that you need to know before a customer will start the chat. To make a chat more visible, you can use an iCatcher, so an icon will appear next to the chat window. You can use one of iCatchers from our own iCatcher gallery, or you can upload your own custom picture to the system. As you can see, there are many of the functions available here, and all of them can be easily modified by just a few clicks from your chat settings. I've mentioned that there is an option to set up an automated greeting that will trigger a chat to open. But in live chat, there is also a function to measure your success and conversion from the chat. There are two functions that you can use, goals and sales tracker, that also can be used to measure your sales during a chat. You can set up different conditions for these functions, so you can set up it to trigger on the certain page, for example, if your visitor visits your landing page or the payment page during the chat. You can use a goal that will trigger based on a specific API or some certain variables that you will pass to the chat. By using a sales tracker function, you can also add value to the sales. For example, show not only products that your customer purchased, but also the amount of money that you earn from this specific purchase. For the e-commerce function, there are also some reports, which I'll talk about in the next video. That concludes our setup functions. As you can see, we have a lot of features that you can use. If you got some questions, remember that our support team is available for you 24-7 and you can start a chat with them from the website or directly from the live chat application.